Hey guys, it's Jennifer, and today I'm doing a birthday card for my fiance, and um, I'm really excited about this one, so um, let's go ahead and get started. A few things I'm going to be using today. Um, I had ordered this cute little um, stamp set off of eBay for $2.00. It's absolutely adorable and it came it did not come in a regular package and it actually had some extra stuff in it but on one side it has a rocket ship and a little extra piece and a star on the other side it has a cute little little guy there and the spaceship and the planet and then as a bonus which I have not used yet it had let me get out the little piece of paper so you can see it but this was an added bonus just like some school supplies scrapbook create anyway so all that for two dollars I think I paid with shipping it was like four dollars total you cannot beat that it's and it's really really cute so that's what we're gonna make today I am using of course um, some close to my heart products I'm gonna use from the Cricut Artiste collection um, this stamp set because I'm going to be using the happy birthday and I will be using Crafted with Love to finish off the card. I'm going to use Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. I'm also going to be using the Zing Embossing Powder. I'll be using Stampabilities Clear Embossing Pad. I used some scissors. I gonna get my Wink of Stella, of course my ATG gun, if it'll let me use it. I did use some chromatics markers. Um, I did not keep them out because I've already done a lot of the work. I've already cut out the paper from the paper packs. And the paper packs that I used tonight, I believe they came from Walmart. And I want to say that they were $10 each. You guys, they're good quality. Um, actually, one of them, I take that back. One of them is from Die Cuts with a View. And it was $7.97 on clearance. And it's this one right here. Limited edition. I got this one on clearance um, at, uh, where was I? I'll think of it in a little bit. Anyway, it was on clearance. It was not Hobby Lobby. <laughs> uh, Joanne Fabrics. And this is the paper that I'm using out of it because it matched the little antenna on my alien slash robot guy. So I used it. And this, I know, did come from Walmart. It is double-sided. And it is Color Book Signature Wild Indigo. They're both great paper packs. They're both double sided. Wait. Mostly double sided. Um, this particular paper, anything with the glitter in the Walmart package, it is not double sided. So, okay. So let's get going because I'm going to try to make this quick and I don't want to take all night like I normally do. Sorry. Oh, what did I do with my little piece of paper? I was busy showing you guys everything, but I laid it to the side. There we go. Okay, so I just used some navy blue paper. I believe this is actually um, not close to my heart. I want to say that this came from Stampin' Up. 
um, before I was a demonstrator with Close to My Heart, I did buy some Stampin' Up! stuff that I do love. So, um, this is from the Stampin' Up! collection. And regular A2 card. So, we're going to start with that. And being that my card is card base is navy blue I'm going to let's see if I can find my white pigment ink keep in mind it is pigment ink so it is going to dry slower and And I'm using the one that says a gift from my heart. And hopefully this will do right. Perfect. I love it when a good plan comes together. Fan that a little bit. Put that over there. Okay. I'm just going to lay that out so it can dry a little bit while we're working. All right. Set that to the side. And um, so this is the base sheet ATG. Do you see on the other side, it's a real cute little polka dot. And I really, I was kind of wanting something bright and colorful, but when I saw the, that that pattern matched the antennas, I just, I couldn't pass that up. I really, I just really liked it. I, I will tell you, I, my little guy... He's still going to be just as bright and colorful because that's just how I am. And it doesn't mean that my card base, just, you know, can't be navy blue and blah. It's not really blah, though, because, you know, this kind of reminds me of the Milky Way and the galaxies and the stars. And then this is his little antenna. It's all sparkly. Okay, so for the outside, here are my colored pieces. As you see, I just made them yellow and orange, and then the planet I made green and yellow. And I will probably take some Wick of Stella and go all over that and make them really sparkly and, and beautiful. And I'm just going to place them kind of sporadic and where uh, of course they will be on pop dots Which I'm almost out of. Gotta get me some more of those. They're one of my favorite things. Love pop dots. And I actually want an action wobbler for my little my little guy. I think I will make some um, extra stars. You know, have some stars everywhere. I'm gonna uh, make a little banner in the middle for the happy birthday. And
my banners are never perfect. They're actually kind of awful. <laughs> I'm not a good banner maker. And I had some... There they are. I'm going to make them metallic, I think. Put a little... Um, being that they're out in space. I want some metal. Some little brads. So. Yeah, that'll be great. Two little brads. Some memento tuxedo black. And I didn't um, fold those down the traditional way just because there wasn't quite that much room on there to do it, and I didn't want to clip it off either. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm just going to clip off a little piece right here on some leftover pop dots. Perfect. Now, let's see. To the inside, I just cut some one inch strips of the extra paper that I had. want you to be able to see the pattern. And then this one, I'm just going to layer it just slightly. Here is my cute little robot guy. Is he not the sweetest? And he actually is going to go on an action wobbler if he'll fit. He may not fit. Oh, he's not going to fit. I don't think I can condense that. I might be able to. We'll see. I might be able to do that. I'm going for it. If not, 
We'll see. These are kind of see-through, so. I'm doing it. And I'll just trim around that. might leave that part. Okay. There you go. Alright, we're going to put some stars on there. I might should have waited. Seeing that that's now on there. But... That's better. Okay. Oh, he's so stinking cute. And I have a white gel pen somewhere on this desk. I think. <laughs> no. I put it back where it's supposed to be, and I'm going to put Hope Your Special Day. All right, now let's do some stars. I did leave the star out, right? Yep. Well. I said, that's, there it is. It was hiding under the brads. Like, what I do with those stars? All right, we'll see how we'll see how this looks. We'll try one with the embossing powder. It may look better just with the the regular um, white ink. We can try both. I'm open. To, I'm open to all. I'm willing to try it all. should really get me a little container but I haven't yet kind of old school spare them with me on the noise we'll see how this goes
Okay, so there's one like that. And then Oh uh, yeah, that's that's kind of much better. These these over here are a little bit lighter. Not as in depth. But so I'm gonna continue, but you get the gist. And I'll probably put a couple on the front. So, but um, you've officially seen what the card will be like. So here's here's my card. Happy birthday! Hope your special day is out of this world. All right. I hope you liked it. Y'all have a great weekend. I know we will. Thanks for watching.